Hi, I'm Tuner. So, how are you? Well, we have. Uh, I will bore you with some political data from Sweden. Maybe you find it interesting. We have some uh, political parties, eight of them. Uh, seven of them are pro EU, one of them is uh, against EU. And uh, the party that is against the EU is called Sverige Demokraterna, Swedish Democrats. And they are growing, see. And of course they are. I mean, because now I think I'm pretty sure the majority of Swedes wants to get out of EU. EU is the biggest threat to Swedish democracy. We had a pretty good run here in Sweden until the EU came along. And now we're losing out on the democracy part. We don't, we don't have a saying anymore. So, and I think people are realizing this to a higher extent. Okay, so the Swedish Democrats grow. The other parties are more or less struggling. The other parties call them racists. And the reason for this is that they have, for a long, long time, the Swedish Democrats have, talked about controlling immigration. Many, many years, you know, from the start. You know, they come from Nazi organizations, some of them. It's their root, they have some roots there. And, uh, so, and they are criticized for this, of course. Now it's like a political party, and they have been talking about um, controlling immigration. And the other parties say, well, you're just a racist party, you're all Nazis, all of you. And then that's been their attitude for forever. We, want, we don't want to uh, collaborate with you, you are racists. That's what the other parties say. But now something's changed, you know, reality kicked in, right? Because of this mass immigration in Sweden, we ran into problems, financially, to start with. Because it costs a lot of money to take, to take care of them. And now they, the other parties are talking about regulating immigration. And some of them actually carried it out, you know, the, the guys in charge, the Social Democrats, for instance. So now they are all sort of agreeing, well, we have to do something, we have to have a look at this. So they I think they suddenly realized, well, they were racist before when they wanted to regulate immigration. And now we want to regulate immigration, so I guess we're all racists. Yeah. Hmm. And if we are racists, we have to do something about it. We, well, we are, I don't want to call myself racist. So, one of the leaders of a right-wing party said, um, I actually like this woman. She's in charge of uh, the Moderaterna, the Moderates. And she said, well, Swedish Democrats, that's a racist party, but their voters aren't. Hmm. That's an interesting turn. And then there was another one, also from the right wing, who said, Mm, I don't think uh, Swedish Democrats is a racist party. That's a suggestion. Well, okay. So this sort of opens a door to, I think, a referendum about the EU question. So I'm very happy about this. So, uh, and also media is starting to wake up. There was a show the other night uh, about immigration and it was about people coming here from let's say Afghanistan they are taught that when they come to Sweden they should 
lose their passports and say that they're like 14 or 15 years old. This way they will get all the benefits. They will get free schooling and so on. So that's what they do. They come here, they could be 30, and they say, well, I'm, do you have your passport? No. It's okay. So how old are you? I'm 14. All right. And what do they do? You know, the immigration officer, he writes it down. This guy is 14. Uh, unless he gets suspicious, then he writes, I'm suspicious. <laughs> yeah. And there are ways to check out how old they are. You know, you can look at teeth and bones and stuff like that, and you will get an idea of how old they are. But there's been so much fuss around this age checking in Sweden, so the immigration officers, they don't do it anymore. They don't check age. So he gets in Sweden and he gets, all, he gets this paper and where it says he's 14 and in brackets I'm suspicious. <laughs> so. <laughs> But, uh, and then he gets free schooling, and if he does a crime, the police can't put him in jail, of course. He's 14, right? Even if he suspects that he's 25. So, um, we have a problem. This was good, this show. Alright, that's uh, the news from Sweden. I hope you have a good day. Bye.